Hey, what's up guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Construction Simulator 3 on the PlayStation 4 Pro. Alright, so we're starting out on the menu here because of course we left off with a rental and they are charging us every minute. Oh, are they really? Uh, yeah, I don't know how often they charge. Uh, maybe every day, perhaps? Uh, sure so, so we want to get rid of this thing. Uh, and he told us how, but that was the last episode, so I've already forgotten. Uh, we don't want to store it, uh, so we're just going to just wing this and figure out how to do it. I hate how it's got a load coming back in here. Yeah. So if I accidentally hit that, uh, then it's... Is it here that we do it? I think it might be in here. Yes, return. Oh, okay. There we go. Uh, it's supposed to be 1,300 credits. Good grief. And it puts us back in our vehicle here. Uh, so always keep track of your earnings and expenses. Both will be listed at the end of the month. Through your company's administrative section, you have access to your finances uh, at all time. Keep an eye on your running expenses in particular. Search for ways to further optimize your processes. Okay. Great. Made a little bit of money. Now they want us to bring any of the vehicles to right there. All right. So let's go and bring this baby since we're already in it. Run over the cone. Here we That's go. That's an indestructible cone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can't destroy those cones. All right, yeah. so done. Oh. What next, Pete? Warehouse looks great. Now it just needs to be filled. There are some old goods lying around on the grounds that we could still use. <laughs> did you forget what guy you were? Yeah, I did. Yogi, okay, you're the guy with the cool mustache. I'm the big, strong guy. I want to be the, the big, strong guy with the baby face. <laughs> yeah, the baby face that does all the work. Okay, I need a vehicle with a flatbed for that rat. <laughs> Is that how you would be done, that mm -hmm. voice? And then I would have, uh, not necessarily. All company preferences have forklift that you can use to transport goods on the grounds. You can always select it via the company building. <laughs> that is fantastic. <laughs> All right, that's, that's great. great. <laughs> I'll try it out right now. All right, so press and hold X to open the company's premises context menu. Menu. I said menu. All right, so this will let us access the home base. And it wants us to click on that button. And this gives us access oh my to the God. forklift. What an adorable little forklift. Mm-hmm. That's my favorite color. <laughs> it is kind of a purple. I need kind it. of, yeah. <laughs> well, I guess everything's kind of a purple. Yeah, you know what? I don't think it is purple. No, yeah. I think it's silver. All right, so we need to pull it into right here because we got to pick up some boxes, Jinx. Oh my gosh, can I pick up the boxes? <laughs> <laughs> Ta da! All right, so transport the pellets to the new. Or pallets to the new warehouse. We've got a pet rabbit. We're just bringing pellets to it. A rabbit you needs would pellets, need man. A forklift to bring the amount of pellets. The amount of pellets is damn. Desire. Rabbits eat. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to pick this up. It's super slow because I have it all the way down. And we are responsible rabbit owners. We don't just give them free range of pellets. And no. Get fat and diabetic. Mm -mm. I'm trying to figure out how to get it to go up higher. Apparently it's not letting me. Do I not? Oh, I gotta hook it. Okay, that's why. It makes oh. sense. All right. Uh, so again, this is that was the furthest I've gotten, guys. Uh, so I've never actually used this baby here. Uh, so we are in no man's land right now. Can you pick them up and stack them and carry them all? Maybe. Yeah, I'd assume you'd be able to. I don't know if uh, we're gonna do that. Probably not. But <laughs> all right, let's go unload that. Beautiful. And let's go get these other three. Okay, now the forklift is my favorite vehicle. So this is Jinx's favorite vehicle now. She just wants to drive around a forklift. I've never gotten to drive a forklift. Oops. When I worked at ca uh, at cashier, <laughs> when I worked at Walmart as a cashier uh -huh. many, many years ago, many years ago, I wanted ago. so badly to drive the forklift, but I had no business back there. And nobody so. would let her. Jinx tried. No. I told her get off of that like, woman. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, so we can see if we can stack it since we're here. All right, so I'm going to try to stack. I don't know if it's going to like that. Although maybe there's like some safety safety stuff about stacking things. There you go. We oh, stacked very it. Very nice. Looks like it's about to tip over, but. It's fine. Mm -hmm. So we got one left to get. Oh, no, I guess we don't need that one. 
Ooh. The la last pallet is difficult to get with a forklift. You can store all goods in the warehouse using the pallet's context. Okay. Uh, so they just want us to store it in the warehouse because they said, you know what, this is just too difficult. So we need to go or they said to the pallet of bricks. Too much fun. And we want to store it. Why didn't they tell us that? <laughs> well, I don't think it's stored over there. It's stored in the warehouse. We wanted those pallets oh, right there. Oh, okay, James. gotcha. So those were extra. Mm -hmm. Well, he said it was too difficult to do. He didn't, he didn't trust our pallet ability. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Did we not? Oh, is it cheating? Or is it not, not considering that stacked properly? No, I think it just wants you to store them. Oh, all. store all of them? Okay. Uh, so I guess we can do that. And last one. Why do you have me move them over here, though? Just so that you could drive the forklift. Just so we know how to use the forklift. Forklift tutorial. Mm -hmm. All right, so uh, return the forklift. But I don't wanna. I yeah. know. All right, so we got a little bit of forklift fun, guys. Well, that's that. The materials have been stored away. Great, now I'll show you the building merchant. Grab the flatbed truck and drive over there. I've placed a waypoint on your map for you. Will do. Alright, so... He's already placed the waypoint. It'd be good to know where we're going. Uh, seems like that's where he's at. I think that's where we're marked. Yeah. Alright, so... I don't think we can fast travel there. Yeah, I won't let us fast travel there. So driving we will do. Just cruising. Mm -hmm. I got my snacks ready. And we will drive in the fastest vehicle we have, which will be this one. What's with all the crud papers pouring out of the vents? Uh, we got sewage problems, Jinx. Oh, we did, didn't mm -hmm. we? Yeah, sewage issues. Alright, so remember we can go 70 on this road, but it quickly ends. It's one of those teasers. Mm -hmm. uh, we, have, we had a, a road that did that on my way to work at my old job. And it would always trick me, man, because it would go up to, like, 60. Look at this bullshit, man. Honk at those. I don't have a horn. What? No horn in this game. It's the biggest problem I've noticed with the oh game so far. There's God. no horn. Or at least I don't know how to use it. And you can see on the side there, they have the controls. There's no horn button. Yeah. No horn. Well, I don't like that. Uh-uh. I'm not cool with it, Jinx. Not Jinx's. one bit. I think we can go. Okay, so we need to make that left there. How are you going to honk at, at assholes? And pretty ladies. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not allowed, Jinx. No, it's not. That mm -hmm. is so goddamn rude. I hate that. Honking at pretty ladies. Do you have a lot of people honking at you, Jinx? Well, sometimes. Oh, Lord. Come on. I got a green light, it's people. Not even like... I've got the right of way. Yeah. Look at all these people. No. Uh uh. Like, really? No, I have the green light. I have the right of way. These people need to learn the law. It's not irritating because, like, oh, they think I'm attractive. It's irritating because it scares the shit out of me every goddamn time. <laughs> getcha. It's just rude. But yeah, I was just saying. Yeah, heart attack. We had one of those traps, man, and when I was just a drive to work, where it would go up to, like, 60 miles per hour, mm -hmm. but then it would jump right back down to 50. Oh. Um, I mean, it was, like, 60 for maybe, like, seconds. I don't even know why I did that. It's not like you were crossing <laughs> a road or something that was 60, because that would make sense. Uh, it was just it was just very temporarily, like uh, 60 miles per hour didn't make any damn sense. Was there uh, a cop waiting there on the I kind of feel like that was, yeah, just a, a trap. All right, so let's go ahead and... I think we can go think 50 here. I want to move to Germany. This place is nice. This place is nice. Germany looks nice. Germany looks really nice. Oh, we are speeding. Slow this baby down. All right, so I think it's right... There, yeah. You see the little farm? marker? I'm getting oh across. My God, can we farm? <laughs> this is the building material supplier, Jinx. Oh. Clats and kale. That was some crazy case there. <laughs> and yeah, I think the the little eggs, the Easter eggs, I think that we have to get those with the crane guy. The crane thing. We could always try and get it here just to yeah, see. Let's do and it. there might be a trophy for getting just one. I'm not gonna get them all. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do it, guys. Let's go ahead and switch vehicle modes. And I know I suck with the crane, so I probably shouldn't be taking precious video time, especially because this episode will be shorter than the, the previous one. It's going to take us 30 minutes. Just to get, get the, the stupid egg. crane out, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that too. <laughs> Luckily, you can just reset it. So once we get it out mm -hmm. and get the, get the goodie, 
Because I would just leave it out. I'm like, I'm just going to let the robot arm do his thing, man. It doesn't let you drive around with the crane. Who am I to tell him he can't go around grabbing shit while I'm driving? So let's hope that this is what we needed to do. That's not something it's else. Stupid. Gently. It's an egg. Boop. Maybe not. Maybe you can't get it that way. You gotta shoot it out of the sky? I'm not really sure what you do. I thought this was... Yeah, I thought you were right that there was something we had to do with the green. Apparently not. There's clearly something you need to do with it, though. Maybe mm. you need to, like, hook it onto the front? Well, that's upsetting. That's... Don't show me an egg and yeah, then tell I... me I can't have it. I don't know, guys. That's interesting. Throw it fucking bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we can't get the, the egg. I guess it's good to know, though. I'm sure there's a way to get it. It's just that's not the way to get it. Maybe something else we need to do. Tell him we need a shoddy. That'll do the trick. Yep, because I'm sure there's shotguns in this game. I'm sure there's shotguns in this store. <laughs> there probably are shotguns in this store, though. Uh, so uh, press and hold X to enter the building material supplier. Let's go and enter. You know what oh, game good God, I need Write a damn life. book at us. Ooh, am I reading that? Uh, I guess I'll read it, Jinx. Okay. This is what the local building material supplier has to offer. You'll find almost all the materials you need to complete your jobs here. If you have an active job, they are highlighted in yellow. Just select the quantity you need and then decide if you want to transport them yourself or pay to have them delivered to your warehouse or the job site. You can automatically load your bra items if you ride an appropriate machine and have learned the respective skill. Uh, prudent construction entrepreneurs buy all the materials they need for a job at once. If you have an active job, you can view the materials you need. Uh, da, 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 discounts on, okay, got it. I understand. Though, I don't know what jobs we need, or what uh, resources we need what for this stuff? job. Uh, so, okay, he was he was highlighting it for us. All right. Oh, okay. Oh, well. Get them been stored away, I guess. Okay, I didn't buy them, though. I think he bought them for you. <laughs> All right, so now we can take care of some real jobs. Have a look at the job menu. So now I think we're finally out of the tutorial. I think that's the last tutorial one. Oh. Woo! We All did right. it. We did it, guys. Uh, so I suppose we'll go and start with, not the map, with our job view. Uh, and see if we can't, can't uh, get a... A job that we'll be able to complete here. So we have contracts, we have the tutorial. Apparently there's more tutorials, uh, which teach you more things. Check for campaigns that will advance you and your company. Let's take a look at see what this is. So I'm going to take a wild guess that the campaigns are going to be a little bit more difficult. Ooh. You would think? Yeah. Yeah, so these are like a one-time... Like building shit. Yeah, I think these are like a one-time thing. A small garden Like one job. job? Mm-hmm. Transport, what? small gardening job, and bulk transport. So, yeah, I imagine these are, like, really easy jobs to do. Mm-hmm. You know, just something you do real quick, get a little bit of money from them. Although, some of these are, there's actually quite a bit of uh, money to them. Oh, okay. It tells you how many tasks you'll have down at the bottom. Interesting. Oh, okay. So, you can pick things you want to do. And then the campaigns are probably something that are going to be much more Build extensive. Building a damn house. Yeah, like, this one here is, like, eight steps here. But you get a lot more money for them as well. We'll start with just a regular job again. I think that would be for the best. And then, which one do you want to do? This is a really easy one. That's just transporting True. a tree to a gravel pit. I guess we're capable of doing that. I was thinking we'd do one that gets us a little bit more money. You want to do this first one, one here? Sure. Yeah, we'll do that one. So we have to flatten and bring construction material. Do you really want to accept this contract? I'm glad they ask a second time. Because maybe I don't. And I need a game that just lets me walk around like Home Depot or Lowe's. <laughs> yeah, that's the game for Jinx. And let me play with shit, too. <laughs> so, do we want to buy the stuff for the job now? Can we... Oops, I keep on hitting that damn map, guys. I don't know why I think that the map button, which is the, uh, uh, the touchpad. Why I think that's the damn button to our menu. Uh, too many games have made that the options now. So, can we see it from the jobs? What uh, construction material we need? Because uh, I'd prefer to just get it here Three while we're here. Three pallets of sod. I think that's it, right? Three yeah. times pallet of sod. That's all I see. So let's get that while we're here. Let's be smart. Work smart, not hard, guys. Uh, let's go and enter. And see if we can't find this sod. The generator, bricks. More bricks. Oh, man, there's a lot of stuff. We got pipes. 
love pipe. Shingles. There's the sod. That's what we're looking for, guys. Um, so how do I select? Okay, just like that. So we want three pellets of sod. And then we're going to want to... Uh, deliver to construction. Deliver to go, I think. Because that delivers it to the warehouse. We can't mm -hmm. deliver to the construction site because we haven't been there yet. Oh, uh, okay. Hmm. I guess to go. And then hopefully it'll be right there. Oh, okay, yep. nice. All right. All right, so let's go ahead and set up. And hopefully that one pallet isn't too close from where I'm at and that we can't pick it up. I suppose we'll find out. I'm sure they'll let you snatch it. All right, so let's get Can this baby out. Can you go off-roading? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess you could if you wanted to. I don't know what practical reasons you have for that. I'm not gonna pay for, for that. I'm just gonna go Why grab some going trees out? out the forest. Are we not all the way up yet? No, the problem is, there we go. I didn't have enough room. Alrighty. Let's go ahead and try and get these picked up. Well, his name is Paul Finger. Okay, we were hauling something apparently. I didn't feel like we were hauling anything. We are just getting credit for hauling. I'll take it. Mm-hmm, we're not complaining. All right, so I'm gonna pick this up and uh, get it put back onto our truck here. Cause you're super strong. Mm-hmm, probably bring this in some. That's the wrong button. Come on. I was just gonna talk shit there for a minute. I'm glad I didn't. <laughs> I was about to say, see, I'm getting it, guys. It's getting better. Uh, I'm glad I didn't. All right, so I'm hoping that we'll be able to, to grab this one, because again, this is the uh, closest. I don't think we yeah. can. Nah, we're too uh too close to that one. Damn you! So that's a pain. Pile. That's that's real pain, because now we're gonna have to to unhook. You know what? They're only getting three stars on their review. Well, that is the loading area, though, Jinx, mm -mm. to be fair. No. Yeah, that's got the little lines on there. Oops. Why would you? It's outside the lines. Look. They just threw it over there. Let's bring this right, in It'll some. be fine. He'll just move the truck. <laughs> you are inconveniencing your customer. I should have moved the truck, to be honest, though, Jinx. Karen wants to talk to the manager. All right, so we're going to have to reset... And switch to vehicle mode to pick up this last little bit. And I'm hoping that it won't fall out the truck because I'm not going to secure the load. Because <laughs> why would we? And that should be far enough. But that warning was going off like crazy. No, no. Like when your passenger doesn't have his seatbelt on because you're like literally just dropping oh, them gosh. off at the... A couple, like a, a street down the way, mm -hmm. which happens sometimes. Sometimes when uh, Jinx is uh, going to work, she'll drop me off at the kids' school, which is which uh, I normally walk to. Get the damn thing out. And Jinx yeah. will drop me off, and I won't put my seatbelt on, and then the car will be yelling and screaming at me, "Put your fucking seatbelt on!" I don't even stop. I just open the door. <laughs> yeah, I just jump out and roll. Talk and roll, babe. Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. Because Jinx is always rushing to work, guys. Yeah. It's always a rush. Because I'm not in a hurry to get there. <laughs> and I don't want to be late. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, you know, I got a life outside of work. Come on. Go I'm good just God, guys. I there we go. Life. All right, so we got it. Took me a long time, but we did it. The store's gonna close soon. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting dark, man. We're gonna show up at these like, We still got this guy here, man. In the can I not night. put it, like, closer? I think you can put it wherever your little heart desires. Well, no, it wouldn't let me. Alright, so let's go ahead and reset. Switch vehicle mode. Secure the load. And we will secure the load. There we go. So damn square to wear, guys. No, All right, right, so let's go to the site, which is that the site right there? I think, I think it might be. That's a quarry. If that's not the site, then oh, is this the site, the green one? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and oh, it's already on there. Why would it be five hundred dollars to skip to, the drive? And to literally drive like right down the road. It's like right there. Mm-hmm. Just trying to rip us off. These damn youngins who all they do is drive the trucks. When the old guys don't feel like it. 
I like all the construction and the tearing shit up. I'm just gonna run this sign but up. The I nickel guess. and diamond, man. <laughs> it stresses me out. Like, there's enough of that in my real life. Yeah, I don't need none of that I shit. I feel like we should just go around destroying shit. Really? That's, that's yeah. where you went with that? <laughs> <laughs> nickel and diamond. Yeah, so let's just run over cars. <laughs> <laughs> okay, exactly. well, that's what happens when you run cars over. Nothing. Knocks your entire truck across Not a the road. goddamn thing. These things are. And cemented to the damn go on a rampage. spot there. That's why you need to pay your construction <laughs> worker as well. Uh, so, do we turn? It's a stressful job. It is a yeah, construction. I mean, most jobs are stressful. Well, I, I guess there's some jobs where are pretty relaxed and chill. I've just never worked one of those. Yeah, I'm not sure that they exist. Is this I'm sure right here? I, that they do. I just I have my doubts. Okay, so we're here. Um, we just, like, drove all up in their yard. Yeah, because this is the site. That's the site that we gotta put the grass down in. Yeah. Mm hmm And you're driving all over it. Let's take a look. Well, I think we have to flatten it, actually. Yeah. Means. Oh. We need the other vehicle. We got this. Oh, shit. Yep, yeah, we, we need the other vehicle, Jinx. We got damn it. And you said we got it. Did you see my last flattening attempt, Jinx? Oh, well, that's easy. Alright, so... Oh, never mind. I wonder if we can just... You gotta drive all the damn cars. Uh oh. <laughs> I wanna get on. Um, I mean, it's really just not that far away, guys. Wow. We just, we're just gonna have to drive it. Again, if we skip the drive for everyone, we're never gonna make any money. Uh, this looks a lot nicer, though. Look at this. I don't know who did all the actual work there. Uh, but yeah, it looks, looks nice. For real? Do we have employees? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think we have in place. Are we we just, paying them? I would, I would assume so. And, uh, I think uh, all we're doing is just driving the vehicles. Everybody does all the other work, all the hard stuff. Okay. We're the only ones qualified to drive the vehicles, Jinx. Do we have a receptionist? I would assume so. What's her name? Uh, Betty, maybe? Oh know. my god, no Going too fast way. in this? Are you serious? I was going to say Betty. How did you know? Because that's the name of the receptionist. We just both happen to know her name. It's not really that amazing, Jinx. That is amazing. <laughs> it's such a generic name. <laughs> <laughs> what else would we name our receptionist? Betty. <laughs> uh, so, let's hurry up and get I want this Betty here. White as my receptionist. That's the only way our business is going to succeed. It, you're, you're right, Jinx. That is, that is very true. Uh, but yeah, I, I feel like it might be cheaper certainly you know easier uh, but it might also be cheaper uh, paying the five hundred dollars if i keep getting speeding tickets you and know shit. that's fucking true which i was barely even going like what's the i feel like they just ripped me off there's no way that that was not 40. Mm -hmm. like we went from 70 to what 30 like that quickly Wait, we're americans we don't know what kilometers are <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't think that excuses ever worked for anybody, but <laughs> I don't think so either. I'm American. I don't know what these drugs are doing in my backpack. Jeez. I, I wish that the menu, the uh, the map was. Yeah. They didn't have a loading screen to go out of it. Like you could just quickly peek at it. Uh, it is up there in that mini map too, but you have to be competent to realize that. <laughs> All right, so on to the job site we will be, and we're gonna bulldoze our basketball club. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we'll try not to destroy the basketball. Oh, cool. Goodness. So, I don't know, guys. Flattening's not easy, so. <laughs> I believe in you. We should probably do it where we actually see see it. And he showed us how to do this. And so he expects that we know how. But again. Little did he know. And I feel like we are, we've already fucked it up. <laughs> we have dirt. Here, take the dirt back. I'm sorry. Take the dirt back. <laughs> There you go. How did dirt turn <laughs> What? Dirt turn to doot. Alright, so let's just go and then I don't think we're doing it. Come on. I feel like we're not flattening anything right now. Could we not just use the squisher? Well, I think that's for compacting. Uh, but another thing to consider is the fact that we don't own the squisher, Jinx. Uh. So we'd have to rent it. I think that this is how we do it. 
I'm just, uh, just, it's challenging. I told you the flattening thing. We shouldn't have took a job that had flattening. I should have saw that. Because mm. I don't really like the flattening. Because good grief. The ground is so bumpy in Germany. <laughs> and apparently, like, even this big old thing here with these giant wheels can't get over that little tiny bump. I told you, them bumps are wild. Yeah. And out of control. Who knew? I certainly didn't. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like it should be like flat on there. Yeah. And then it should work, but yeah, it didn't it didn't. There should be a button that you push that says, Hey, this flatten. is gonna make stuff flat. <laughs> now, we should probably take a look and see if we are flattening, right? It looks like we are. I think you're doing good. Alright, we're flattening it. Yeah. It's just Slowly. unfortunate that you gotta like go dump that and then <laughs> do it again. <laughs> Come on, is that all I can do? Yeah, it looks like that's all we can do. Damn. Alright, so let's go ahead and bring her up. Oh, whoa, don't whoa. dump it. Can we dump it on their balcony? <laughs> so, we probably could dump it on the balcony, Jinx. That'd be great. We would then probably need to pick it back up somehow, though. We'd have to clean it up. I We'd have assume. to burn the house down to get the <laughs> dirt out of it. <laughs> <laughs> And I probably should have emptied that out as well. Yeah. But I didn't expect to be uh, dumping dirt, so... We're well, just going to dump dirt on top of it. Dirt on it, right? Yeah, that's the way I feel. God, my dirt and dirt don't hurt. Yeah, I feel like we we'll just dump the dirt on top, and, I mean, how bad could it be? It's fine. It didn't really work Whoa, out. Oh, it is, like, stuck in there. I don't think it'll let you dump the dirt in there, because it's already got no. stuff in there. Whoa, what is... <laughs> oh, goodness. Oh, yep, it won't let you, won't let you unload it. Ooh, an egg. <laughs> Good thing Jinx found an egg. <laughs> I think we'll have to pick all that up again, but maybe not. No, it's not in the work area, so it doesn't matter where we dump it, basically. All right. Well, you deal with this dirt. Basically. It's your dirt. It's your dirt, man. So, yeah, how are we doing on flattening this out? Terrible. Terribly. I think we made it worse. I think if we get the red cleaned up, maybe that'll be enough. And that's what I'm going to go with. I assume that that's good enough. Does it really need to be smooth? I mean, it needs to be kind of smooth. <laughs> at least somewhat smooth. Like, for instance, this area where we really, really mucked it up, I think oh, needs to true. be worked on a bit more. Oh, I thought that cone was a little person standing there watching. Like a little child. <laughs> I'm like, scram, you. Okay, so let's go ahead and go and let's just hope we get it all. Come on. You got this. I believe in you. Ah, I feel like we just ran over the, <laughs> the spot. <laughs> yeah, where we needed to be doing it. Alright, so again, we'll just dump it out here somewhere. I'm sure it'll be fine. Oh my gosh. <laughs> You can't unload here. <laughs> Don't tell me how to live my life. I'll uh, pay the fine. <laughs> <laughs> That's interesting. Yeah, they they don't really care about physics in this sense. <laughs> More important that you follow the law. <laughs> I thought I'd be able to dump dirt all over there. Uh, but yeah, maybe we could just dump it here in this pile because it doesn't seem like they care about that. Oh my god, let's build a ramp. That's what I'm trying to do. Let's build a nice cool ramp here. I really shouldn't have moved that truck there. We need to get that truck out of the way. Their was... neighbors are loving them right now. <laughs> I'm supposed to be in this here. I'm just like oh, here we go. doing construction stuff in mm -hmm. the middle of the night. Yep. All right, so let's get back in the backhoe. And this should be a lot easier now. I should have moved that a lot uh, a long time ago. Uh, either way, though, it's still gonna be it's still gonna be rough, guys. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and. Zoom in again. Oh, God. Maybe it'll be easier from the driver's view. I don't think so, because you can't really see, like, what's... I mean, we could try. You go in the driver's seat, but you can't really see, like, what your... Like, what your... your mm. All your tools look I like. See. That's why I, I kind of feel like it's not easier. There's the orbit camera. Let's just go with the tracking camera here. Seems like that's the best one to go with. All right, so let's go ahead and... Try this again, guys. Alright, so this is the main spot I feel like has to be straightened out for them to let us continue. 
Like, is there a way to see the grid as you're doing it? I mean, you can drive as you're... Mm. Oh, no, you can't drive while you're doing this, actually. Oh, there's a metal in there. So that's what the eggs are called, metals. Can you know. click on them from here? Oh, oh sure. that's how you do it. Okay. All right, now we know we made a ton of money from that, too. How would we have known that? All right, so... Oh, I'm about to dump the dirt right back where I picked it up. Let's go and dump this in our ramp pile. We're making the coolest ramp for these kids. They're going to love us. Yeah, they are. And then... You're going to be able to do super sweet tricks. Mm-hmm. And then let's go ahead and continue on this, guys. I don't know, man. I really don't know. It does feel like... um. Maybe if we got, like, that's the red right there. I'm thinking if we just got the red, we'd be good enough. That's what I'm hoping, guys, because otherwise I don't know how we're ever going to get this done. But, like, yellow's good enough, you know? Mm-hmm. And then it's just the red that needs to be done. I'll go ahead and do this one more time to see if I can improve it at all. But yeah, I think we're going to go with uh, yellow's the magic color here. All right. I'm flatten this baby out again. Yeah, you can see how not flat it is. <laughs> There's like a big hole right there. I mean, we're not I'm not flat enough here. It feels like I'm not picking anything up. Come on. Pick up dirt, man. Yeah, we're not getting anything. Let's just go around yeah. and then see what we can pick up. There's a big... uh red spot right here somewhere mm -hmm. and then we can just go ahead and dump it hopefully I'm not making this worse guys yeah then we're just gonna dump it right here and hopefully that's good enough it's <laughs> <laughs> gonna have dirt piles all over their lawn cuz why not all right so let's see how this looks I feel like it's not even close to being done. Yeah. To being flattened. What we need to do is kind of direct this so that we're going over like the worst spots first. But yeah, I really wish we had paid attention to what jobs we were doing because I would not have picked to do the flattening job. Because mm -hmm. I really don't like the flattening. It's kind of a uh, it's kind of tricky uh, from what I've seen. So. It's tricky in real life too. Oh yeah. Well, you guys already know how much how I feel about flat and flattening in the games. Oh, Lord. So hopefully that's flat enough. I don't know. I can't tell. Come on. All right. So what we need to do is run over. I mean, there's just so much that needs to be ran over, honestly. <laughs> Let's try. I don't know if it's flat enough yet. It's also really hard to tell, like, where you're. Come on. You can do it, man. There we go. We're picking something up. Clearly, it wasn't very flat here. All right, got some dirt. Mm-hmm. Some gravel. All right, then we we'll just kind of turn it. I know this probably wouldn't work in real life. It'd knock dirt everywhere, but hopefully it works in the game. It would work a little bit, maybe. I think you'd get dirt everywhere. Yeah, you would. But as long as it's not in the yellow lines. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's how it works in real life, too. Uh, are we dropping? No, we're not dropping the dirt yet. Right, let's go ahead and dump it. And we'll take a look. Oh, good God. Well, it's, There's that little red yeah. spot there. I'm going to just try again. I had mentioned this before, but then I didn't follow my own suggestion. Let's just go after the red spot, guys. Maybe it's not low enough. I mean, that's like as low as you can get it. Maybe if I go like that. Yeah, it's setting it on the ground. Maybe that'll help. I feel like I'm also just digging a hole here. Mm hmm And ruining the flatness. So you said you wanted a swimming pool, right? Yeah, we're going to make a swimming pool here, guys. Because that's what you're getting. Mm-hmm. And it's only going to cost you an arm and a leg. Mm-hmm. And your firstborn child. Well, yeah, because we're charging per hour here, guys. <laughs> this is going <laughs> to take a while. All right, so let's see how that looks. Um, well, that spot looks yes. a lot better. All right, guys, I think I finally got it. Uh, so you need to have it like in the ground much deeper more than you would think you would need to for a flattening type of thing Because uh, you can see that I got it green in those areas now and you can see that it's like you can see the flattening 
see it doing that, Jinx. No, that big circle's in the way. Yeah, it is kind of hard because of the big circle, but... And yeah, this should allow us, you can kind of see the ground shaping, you know, as we move across it. And so yeah, that's basically how we need to do it, guys. We just need it to be deeper than we were doing. Alright, so let's go and dump this. And then uh, do that other row. Uh, let's just take a look and see how it's looking. I mean, I guess I only did it right in the very beginning there. Probably because we had dirt all up in there already. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but this is a this is a challenging task because it's fucking flattening in a video game. That's why. <laughs> uh, what was that Astro near that I was getting all irritated at the flattening? Oh, yeah. The flattening. I just couldn't get it right, man. Uh, no, whatever. No matter what I did, I couldn't get get it just right. All right, so really hard to see. The camera seems to be your number one enemy as well when it oh, comes definitely. to. Definitely. And then just like, if I just put it in the ground, I think that flattens it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it does. Yeah, so the, the task is now complete. Wow. So we got it, guys. I just needed to have it deeper in the ground, which didn't make a whole lot of sense for me. Uh, and that's why I wasn't figuring that. But yeah, that's what we need to do. I think we just dumped it now. I don't think it matters anymore. <laughs> All right, so that task is complete. Now we need to clear the area. Should be considered clear there. And uh, we leveled up. All right, so we might want to go ahead and uh, get that level going now so that we can get whatever benefits we get from it. Let's go into profile and check out our skills. Uh, so does it take two skills to get the level two? It doesn't. All right. So we can get more money and more experience from jobs if we wanted to. Uh, and I think we're going to do that. Just seeing if any of these would like help with flattening. <laughs> that's what I'd want to put the points in. Let you flatten quicker. You can contract helper to transport soil off the site or to fill up your vehicles. I mean, that does seem pretty useful to have as well when you're trying to save time. Uh, but you know what? We're going to do this you last know, one for the experience, guys. You know you're going to pick many. I'm more thinking the experience because, you know, it'll help us level up quicker and get the other stuff. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, so we've already completed the fallen delivery. We already picked it up. So now we just need to switch over to the other vehicle. And unload it. Mm-hmm. Um, and yeah, I think we gotta put it right in those little three spots there. Alright, so let's go ahead switch into the vehicle mode. And then we're gonna go ahead and offload these goodies. Alright, if I can just figure out how to it's like, where's the claw? get the claw out. Alright. I think that's enough. Yeah, there all right, let's go ahead and get these placed. And then I assume that's all we'll have to do here. Or do I need to do, get the side panel off? There we go, that's what the problem was. Oops. All right, let's redo this, guys. Okay. Some pretty green grass. Yeah, because all I saw was that the, uh... come on, come out was that the little grass didn't have the little hoops over top of it. All right, so we'll get these babies picked up. And they're gonna have a beautiful lawn. They're yeah, beautiful-ish. Their house is certainly nice. Yeah, I like the house. Mm -hmm. I don't know about the green panel in there, or I guess that's not the panel in there. What is that? You see all the... The green on the side? What is going on there? I'm not sure. Yeah, I'm not digging that. But other than the green there, it's it's a pretty nice house. Come on. Go out. Oh, okay. It's, it's the left. Oh, okay. That's why I can't do anything, because I got the stupid uh, camera out. <laughs> <laughs> My bad, guys. All right, so we should just be able to drop this. What do you mean I can't just throw it? <laughs> I can't just throw it. It's just grass. It'll be all right. Like this grass is sensitive. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's bring this baby in. Pick up this last little bit here, and yeah, this is gonna be the only thing we're gonna be doing this episode is this first job here. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely showing us how the actual jobs are gonna work uh, in the the full game now that we're outside of the tutorial. 
And it is uh, essentially, it seems me, completing one step after the other, though they no longer really hold your hand with those steps now. No, no, they like figure it out, construction man. You got it. <laughs> all right, so let's get this last one picked up. And then that might be all we need to do. I'm gonna take their roof out. Maybe. Come on. So close. There we go, beautiful. Ta -da. All right, so let's get this placed. And get it nice and far away from the other ones. Oh, Lord. <laughs> No, these are too high. There we go. So yeah, I want to say that's it. We just need to clear the area and then they'll probably place the, you know, place the grass for us. So let's reset. Switch to the vehicle mode. And yeah, there we go. Flattened. It took us 27 minutes oh, to flatten that, guys. We don't need to see all that. Yeah, we, we're going to put a cut in so you guys don't have to because I was having so much difficulty with it. Uh, but that was like the whole episode was us fucking flattening. <laughs> uh, now that I know... Ooh, that does look really nice, Jinx. Wow, we didn't build that. Yes, but. we did. We did too. I'm trying to act like I didn't do all that. I don't think our vehicle, our other vehicle, will go. By the way, <laughs> I'm not sure. Uh, but you know what? We can probably go back to our home. On this right, we can oh, we can yeah, quickly like return. Do a home base travel. Yeah. So we're going to bring both of these vehicles home. It does suck that the entire episode was just the one mission, uh, with the flattening guys. Good God, that took me a while uh, to figure out. Though, uh, I don't think it was actually 27 minutes of flattening. Because I think it was counting from, like, uh, like the moment that we got the job, perhaps? Yeah, maybe. Oh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and bring this one home as well, guys. All right, so both the vehicles should be home now. But, yeah, I like the gazebo. It yeah, nice. it was nice. We built a nice little area, I'd say. Uh, so that is... Oh, and the first month is over as well. That's a very good month. We've made a profit of 90,000 credits. Keep it up. Uh, so we have to pay a monthly reoccurring expense of zero credits. Uh, so let's take a look. We could have accessed it by pressing circle there, but we'll take a look at the... It's not the bank. Finance. I want to say the, the bank is how you get... Yeah, you take loans, loans. Which we're not a high enough level. They don't trust us, basically. Probably management. Yeah, it might be management. I thought there was a, a money one, though. Oh, I guess this is management. It says finances right there. Here it is. So there's the finances. It's just inside of management. Uh, so yeah, you see the one-time revenue, one-time expenses, and obviously everything that's zero since we just entered this month. So we'd have to look at the previous month here, and then you can kind of see what we've uh, what we spent our money on, uh, or this is what we earned our money from. Uh, these are our expenses. Uh, we got some penalties there. I think that's wow. Look at how many penalties I've gotten just from you know speeding and blowing red lights. Goodness, it's pretty bad. And then that's one rental that we got. So I think those are your only expenses, uh, as you know these. These type of ones here. So, yeah, you're not paying anybody. Everybody works for free for us, Jinx. <laughs> that's how we do things. Well, we provide excellent donuts every morning. Mm -hmm. That's what people work for, the donuts. And you can see what we have in a warehouse, which is just those three pal pallet of uh, bricks that we had put in there in the tutorial video. Uh, tutorial uh, mission. Uh, so, yeah, that's going to be the end of this episode, guys. Sorry we only did one mission, although that's probably going to be what most uh, the videos will be is just one mission. I assume that's all a bit to get done. This one we probably could have done a bit more, though, if I hadn't taken so long flattening that. Uh, I did have some problems with it. I feel like I have it, like, figured out now, though. Hopefully the flattening shouldn't, shouldn't take as long next time. Uh, you just got to make sure you get that, like, into the ground. I was trying to make sure it was, like, leveled mm -hmm. so that it would flatten out, but that's not how you do it. You got to get it, like, oh, in the ground. Yeah, that's how I would have done it, too. What, have it flattened? Yeah. Yeah, where it's, like, positioned. You know, I was trying to position it so that it was, like, flat mm -hmm. with the ground, and then it would... You know, I figured that's how you'd flatten it. Thing. But yeah, you actually do need to be in the ground some. Like, uh, and that seems to do the trick. Uh, but I do hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe to our channel. Hit that notification bell and leave a comment. I do hope to see you on the next episode. Uh, as we leave you on this one, looking at the beautiful mountain that looks over our, our warehouse here. Uh, so yeah, we'll see you on that episode. And thanks for watching, guys.